I can get a copy of the rules from the ordinance because I'm getting a new tenant in. And I get nobody's contacting me uh, about your new ordinance. So I'd like to get a copy of the rules so I don't get shut down for six months. Nobody, I, you know, I've asked that nobody can hear from anybody. And uh, number two, what I'd like to bring up, uh, if, if anybody from council is monitoring the new towing contract, and I don't blame Fells on this, it's the administration of this one. I, I was wondering if maybe we could have, uh, maybe if you could ask the chief of police for a monthly report to see what's going on. Because now I understand there's supposed to be a $45 city administration fee on these bills. And what I said in 2005 would happen, is happening all over again. And I don't blame foul zones. What I told you is I took for $70, $75, and $20 a day. Now it's charge what you want. And I just wonder if, you know, if there's anything you're going to do about it. I, I've been monitoring the orange, the but blue tone. Let's see if first. Let's see if he's finished. Are you finished? Uh, I, I, have, I have a lot of things to set up here. Carl, I'm just going to try to keep this short. See, the reason why I come down and I get, I, I get, I get upset and I start talking about it is it's frustrating. Like, I mean, everything I've been saying is true. And what really bothers me is our Leo. We're firing our Leo because uh, we're charged for stolen vehicles and victims of crime. Now our Leo is getting fired over that. That's what they're going to use to fire our Leo. And now, Fellas Owens gets the charge for victims of crime from stolen cars. Where our Leo, we're going to hang our Leo for doing for it because he totally broke the contract. But yet now Fellas Owens are able to charge for victims of crimes and, and, and stolen cars. Leo, Fellas Owens. No, Leo, yes, Fellas Owens. No, Leo, Fellas Owens, yes. Our Leo, Fellas Owens, yes. But you see, I mean, you couldn't actually bring Larry David in from Seinfeld to, to write this stuff down. And if it was, wasn't so serious, it would be funny. I mean, I, people are calling me, I said, look, I can't do nothing about it. <coughs> call your councilman or call someone. I mean, I charge 70, 75. And now they charge what you want. And the head of the towing association, Mike McGovern, said, it's not, these aren't contracts. How do they get a contract? I mean, wouldn't you like where you work, where everybody works, to say, no, Mr. Brown, I'll tell you what. Charge us what you want. Mr. Merrick, you charge us what you want. Mr. LaValle, I'll tell you what. You charge us what you want. There we go. Even you, Jimmy, charge what you want. And that's what this is. I've been saying it and saying it. And the thing that bothers me the most is everything I said is going to happen happen. Besides the corruption in the police force. Did you go to Tony's party? I guess I'll just finish by this. We are I want to find out if it's possible the day. if you could maybe every month sign one council member, get it to you, Bill, <laughs> get a copy of the UPC and fun. do it. Because this is supposed to be a temporary contract, which is going to go on forever. You know, I didn't get a chance to say anything. I said, okay, I could do it for half that. And I'm actually getting ready where I think I'm going to try to go over and file some kind of petition into court to force the members of the Wilkes-Barre Police Department, every time they go out on a tow, to walk over and say, here it is, right here. Read that. The police are able to charge, or the police tower is able to charge you whatever you want, but the citywide will do it for X amount of dollars. Just remember, I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and go tow a rollover car for $75. Our Leo was charged with 75 to open up the gate. Now, Falzones get a for, uh, supposedly a $45 administration fee. How's this fair? Remember, our Leo is getting fired. One of the reasons we're going to use it is he charged for victims of crimes in 12 cars. Falzones could do it. Maybe I should call Larry David. Maybe I could get a hit sitcom. And I could be like Jerry Seinfeld, living up on an estate in Connecticut. And I stole by them, I'll take my tow trucks with me. You won't hear from me no more. So, okay, so I want to answer my, my uh, the rules, and what about this phone? Mr. George, can you say something? I, I, uh, Mr. Falzon has his prices posted. I don't remember my offhand, but 150 for a regular tow, 175 for, for an accident, 
but then there's a light lag that there's charges for opening and closing the gate to leave the car out, there's charges for cleaning up, there's charges for wrenching, and a lot of the prices range from one fifty to about eleven hundred dollars, depending on what you know what he did. And like I said, I'm not there to see how hard it is to, to winch a vehicle. I, I don't know anything like that, but there's charges for that. Then there's the, I think it's forty five dollars to leave the open and close the gate to leave the car, and I think it's forty five dollars a day for storage. And his prices are not much different from what life was doing. Cool. I mean, the other citizen will probably say something. I think there's three pages of receipts, or uh, of bills. Well, I was doing it for one price, but I go to the general hospital now for a price. And I don't blame, I don't blame the other closet, and I don't blame the fellas on. It's the chief and the administration that let this go on. And also, you people. Okay, Bob, um, Mr. George, respond. I believe that the calling contract is online, right? I saw it on the website. I don't know if you saw it there or not, but everything is there. It's, as you also said, it's a temporary contract. Correct me if I'm wrong again. It's not a permanent contract. I don't know how long temporary is going to be. But I think the contract, contract says 60 days to determine if they need a new job. The city bottom line is, Bill, exactly what Mayor McBrody's administration said and the city attorneys at the time said. Yeah, we could we could do that. And who in who in the long run the last nine years has paid for it? The citizens and the insurance companies. Just like we said. We've gone a little bit over, but appreciate your comments. Thank you.